r slash ask reddit by reddit and chill. What is the most savage thing a teacher has ever said to you? After getting hit in the eye with a softball during pay, and almost being knocked the duck out, he said to me son, it could have been worse, could have been my eye. Sounds like you got physically educated. I bet he's a dad. At first I read this as I bet he's dead. Not me but my best friend. In social studies the teacher was giving a lecture and my friend, let's call him Jared, was talking shit to some friends at the back of the room. He said something about his dong, as high school kids do. Well, from the front of the class comes a real snappy line from the teacher. This is social studies Jared, not microbiology. He did F for respects. Capital F. Capital F. Not me but a classmate of mine who put on his sunglasses in class. Take off those sunglasses. Your future ain't that bright. Got a crazy teacher that wears dark glasses. Can't be worse than yours teaching a class that no one wants to be in. Sharon. Teacher here. My go to line for a comment like that is still getting paid. You're not. We were sitting around at the end of shop class just talking shit until the bell rang. One student asked the teacher if he knew how to get four gay guys to sit on a stool. The teacher didn't know so the student turned over his stool so all four legs were pointing up. We all laughed and then the teacher said they had the same joke back in his day except it was about how to get four sorority girls to sit on a stool. The student thought that version was way better and started laughing even harder. Then the teacher says, isn't your sister a sorority girl? The look on the student's face was priceless. And that's the story on how incest was created. Pretty sure that was in the bible. In high school, the yearbook committee did a thing where we went to different teachers and asked where they saw random seniors in 10 years time. And put the quotes in the yearbook. When I gave the name of one of my friends to our English teacher, she simply said, Jail. Was she wrong? Yup, he never had any legal trouble at all, and currently works on nuclear stuff at a shipyard. He's one of those good old boys who's way smarter than he would ever let on, and she just hated him for some reason. I love hearing things like this BC it reminds me of my husband. He's just a good ole country boy who people assume is lacking intelligence but it's quite the opposite and I enjoy it every time it surprises someone. I repeated a sexist joke my friend told me to my other friend in 7th grade. I think it was like why don't women need a license? There's no road from the kitchen to the bedroom. My teacher asked me to repeat what I said in front of the whole class. So me being a smart ass repeated the joke with a smirk. Teacher. Naughty trouser snake do you have a girlfriend? Left double quotation mark. Me. No. Teacher. That's what I thought. Now sit down. I didn't say anything because she was pretty intimidating. Even though I'm witty I'm sure she wouldn't have quit right back even Mina. But I wish I had said something clever like bringing up her recent divorce and say maybe you should have traveled that road more often. You got me that one time maze. Jerlina. Lesson learned. Kiss ass if you want ass. No comeback necessary. Shitty jokes deserve put downs like hers. Gotham. Upon hearing groans following an instruction to get into groups or whatever. Christ, you want some cheese to go with that wine? Just move. Upon receiving an essay report with almost zero punctuation. This, writing, is so bad it should be on toilet paper. It's textual diarrhea. It gave me pinky just to look at it. When students complain that this is boring. Boredom is a thing that happens in your head. So there are no boring activities. Only boring people. Lift your game. Tyler. Oh you lost your pen? I teach. What's my job? You're a teacher. Right. And you lose things. What does that make you? This teacher is an absolute legend. Stealing their first comeback. It's actually an old saying. You're going to sound like a boomer. Don't bother showing up for the exam because you can't pass the class. I showed up. Got 103% because of extra credit questions. And passed the class with a 50 stroke 100. Lucky. Failing for me is a 70. What the heck. Failing for me is 59%. My English teacher told me I had absolutely no chance of passing the exam so there was no point in even trying. 
but at the same time told me that I had absolutely no chance of getting into uni without English and told me it was my own fault. I got into one of the best units in the country, without a qualification in English or maths, and even went on to complete a masters in another top UK uni, so duck her. I once got a look at my teacher's seating chart. He wrote me Ted next to my name. He had been one of my favorite teachers up until that point. If he liked you then that was probably a joke of his. An inside joke that only he got. No. When he saw that I saw it. He erased it knowing that he had been out of line. The reason I gave you the role of the dog is cause you bleached about the assignments. Edit. Just cause you all upvoted this so much. I will give more details. It's for the men's choir performance. For this upcoming one. We all will have little things to do and one of the songs is filled with jokes. We haven't performed it yet but when the recording is on YouTube, I will link it here when I can. Ask any questions and I will answer them the best I can without spoiling the performance. That's an epic put down because if you complain about the role you're just beaching again. That's advanced a Hillary. Very impressive. Neither were towards me. But my history teacher was a ducking madman with his savagery. I was chewing gum and a girl put her hand up and snitched on me for it. He looked at her and said this is why people ducking bully you. Later that year he got into an argument with some donghead in my class who was trying to be badass. The kid straight up paraphrased Bruce Banner and said, and I quote, Don't piss me off. You dead ass would hate me pissed off. The legend that was Mr. Summers replied, I hate you anyway. Get out. Wait. I had a history teacher named Mr. Summers that was a savage human. Did he have a poster in his room that he banged his head on when the class was being annoying? Yeah he did. I'm gonna DM you the area and see if this is legit. One of my football buddies got his essay back, and the teacher put the mark, and F or D or whatever in the top corner, then drew on the top a football play. Except instead of the end zone he labeled it the failure zone and showed my friend ending up there. Big goof. You peel boy you are going to fail in life. Ms. Tickle 7th grade English teacher. Duck you Ms. Tickle. Life has been pretty amazing and I didn't even have to lure 13 year olds into my Toyota Previa with McDonald's to get sex. You sure showed her. You lured them with 5 guys. Like a true gentleman. LOL the only good thing at 5 guys is their spicy fries. It would be interesting to see where Ms. Tickle is today. Pray for me I'm about to dive into a Facebook search. Go on. For our Christmas concert I was playing first cornet, small trumpet, and I neglected to wear completely black shoes. They had a white stripe around the rim of the sole. When my brass instructor found out, 10 minutes before we were about to go on stage, he fixed me with one of the most intense, burning glares and stated you are an absolute disgrace in a cold tone that was dripping with disappointment and barely repressed rage. He was my favorite teacher who was a super chill guy. I looked up to and respected a lot, but damn, music teachers on concert nights, a completely different beast. I was a freshman in marching band, team as hell, was second to last chair flute, I was doing my damnedest to do exactly everything that was asked of me, in parade block I hear the director yell keep it up waffle foxes, I got this huge stupid grin on my face, the director knew my name and said I was doing a good job, then I hear no. I mean you're behind in the line. Keep IT up. I have rarely went from so stupidly pleased to embarrassed in my life. I mean, he was the dude who didn't know the difference between keep it up and keep up. Can you make a womp sound on a flute? You should really wear socks. It's disgusting not to- Then she gave me a pack of Hanes men's socks. Word got around the school. And I was bullied relentlessly. I gave my last clean not whole filled pair to my little brother that morning so he could play at recess in the cold Iowa winter and not be too chilly. So duck you Mrs. Wilkinson. Edit. Obviously I was grateful to have socks to wear. I was not grateful for the multiple years of bullying that followed. A teacher should not embarrass his or her students. I wasn't the only poor kid in class. I wasn't the only child to get a handout. I was the only one publicly shamed. And of course it wasn't the first time I'd been sent to school without socks or proper attire. I was 11 years old. My brother was much younger. I did what I thought was right as his big sister to make sure he could enjoy his school day. And I got shamed and bullied for it. Our parents chose not to provide the things we needed. And that's what's truly disgusting. 
I wish I had gold for you. It would match your heart. Thank you. It's nice to not be in that position. Poor, ill-clothed, etc. Anymore. Despite our upbringing, my bro and I wound up doing well for ourselves. And most importantly, we're both happy. Thank you for sharing that. I love a happy ending especially, one that breaks that cycle. <laughs> Guidance counselor while simultaneously looking over my transcripts and aptitude test scores. Eh, well it looks like you're all a classic underachiever. A. Eh, he probably meant you have the potential to do much better. <laughs> I'm getting so many good ideas. Keep them coming guys. Imagine these comments being delivered with an extra amount of caffeine and hatred. It's pretty much what fuels me as a teacher. I'm teacher. Can confirm. After finishing my lap of the field for rugby training and giving out times for the team my coach teacher said. I would have timed you Emma Jensa Berry but I didn't bring my calendar. Not to me but my PE. Teacher once told a boy in the changing rooms. Before we went out for football. To take all his jewelry off. He had about two chains on his neck. An earring and maybe some more stuff. I can't remember, but it was hilarious to have the teacher say who you trying to be, Mr. T or something, in front of all the boys in his class. Once my PE teacher said that they have mirrors in the gym to check you posture, I said no, it's to take photos and flex, then he said, you've got nothing to show off. This one guy in my class was whistling and she said, you're not gifted in music so stop it, lol. I was performing a song during music class once and I put my heart and soul into it. Certain I'm gonna race it. Only to get to well. You. Tried. As a response. So discouraging. Haha. <laughs> my first day in junior high band. When the director was assigning people to their new instrument. He's got arms like an orangutan. Put him on trombone. Who's the singer? Blah blah. Let's keep it that way. I forgot the name of the book but back in 4th grade we were reading this book about a kid who had to survive on his own in a cabin in the forest while waiting for the return of his father. Well this being elementary school they were doing that teacher assigns you a few pages and you have to read it out loud exercise. And I got the last few pages where the kid reunites with his dad. So the segment was something like his kid seeing his dad out in the distance and he waves him down while shouting pa. P.A. Now I wasn't sure if the teacher wanted me to literally shout those lines in class so I did a halfest paw. Pa or kind of talk shout. But apparently that wasn't enough for the teacher who had suddenly decided he's going to be the director of this little play that was going on in his head cause he looked at me and in front of everyone said come on Mike. You can do better than that. Your dad was literally in a car accident last month. Put some emotion into it. Yay. Reminding a 9 year old about that one day his dad was late picking him up from school because he was in a car accident that almost killed him. Not the best thing to do if you're a teacher. Mayo dude you're a victim too. Act like it. Make any believe it. I think the book you're talking about is Sign of the Beaver. I assigned it to my students this year. Also. Your teacher was a donghead. I can't put it any simpler. Haha <laughs> I still laugh at that one. The best part about this one is I doubt the person to whom it was directed even registered it as an insult. And was just mad that the teacher was bad at explaining stuff. It was said to me haha. <laughs> I couldn't wrap my head around objects and object oriented programming back when I was 13. I couldn't when I was 27. Kinda understand the basics now. Four years later. Had no teachers though. I'm not going to even bother trying to teach you to read if you can't tell the difference between soup and soap. Well, F you Mrs. Lavoy, my kindergarten teacher. That was because nobody realized I needed F and glasses. You putz. Now I read 2 minus 3 books a week and I can definitely tell, as long as I'm wearing my glasses, the difference between soup and soap. Ro. I got really angry writing that, didn't realize it still bothered me so much. Kindergarten teachers ugh. That's horrible. I'm glad you realized the problem was needing glasses and have become a great reader. I remember my kindergarten teacher told us to always say excuse me. One time I was trying to get back to my seat and she was leaning over by a kid. Probably explaining something. She had her butt in the air. Blocking my pathway. I said excuse me. Then I said it louder. More exasperatedly. Excuse me. 
Then she yelled at me and said never say excuse me to a teacher. Um excuse me smh. Something I have noticed with a lot of old fashioned teachers is they are incapable of saying oops. My mistake to students. I am a teacher myself and I constantly say oh my bad to kids when I tell them for stuff they have a legit excuse for. It makes the room much more light hearted and kids seem to be able to regulate their frustration more. If a kid thinks you're gonna be mad even if you're in the right they're gonna be bad either way. It wasn't said to me directly but rather done to me. I'm a female with a male middle name. We had at least 4 other girls in the class with the same first name as me so I volunteered to be called by my middle name. By the time I got home the male teacher had called my mom to tell her I wanted to be referred to by my male name. As if to say there was something wrong with that. I'm gonna reserve judgment until I hear the name. Michael. My friend told me that her teacher told her at age 12 that she would be the most successful of all girls because of her big boobs. Mind you same friend who speaks 5 languages. Brilliant and was a junior olympian level swimmer. Does her friend have an instagram though? I laughed out loud, waiting for redditors with better insta knowledge to send you appropriate links. Semicolon. I was in a class with a group of girls, and a male teacher made a joke about a student's bra strap showing, and he called it the strap for her over the shoulder boulder holder. We were 12, um, yep, we just looked at each other, and avoided that guy like the plague that he was. Wasn't said to me, but still my favorite high school memory. Grade 9 French teacher left halfway through the semester, so we had a temporary teacher for about a week. First day she introduces herself and tell the class a little about her. She's from Russia, a few other facts, and she does not drink alcohol. A kid in my class responded with but miss your Russian. You must drink like vodka or something? Teacher said that's a stereotype. Not all Russian people drink vodka. That would be like me saying you're black. You must steal things. Half the class fell practically fell out of their chair laughing. I got bullied in middle school by two guys in the grade ahead of me. One day they said some particularly mean shit to me and one my teachers, who was also the football coach, could just tell that I was down on myself. He grabbed me after his history class one day and kind of tried to cheer me up. I'll never forget one of the things he said you know the thing about guys like that, and guys like you. Guys like you are going to be signing their paychecks one day. I honestly didn't fully register it at the time. But years later I'm like damn. He basically said those guys aren't going anywhere in life. Or he's saying just how far you're going to go. Why not both? I really like you as a person. But I hate you as a student. My French teacher told me this when I was in high school. During this period where I was really depressed and self-destructive and on the verge of flunking out. Having her be so honest with me and pointing out that I was wasting my potential. But at the same time saying I was a good person. Made me want to do better and eventually I did. I don't have favorites. I hate all of you equally. Ms. H. Small 1992 3 Honors English History. My 8th grade math teacher blasted me to the rest of the class after a test. I won't say the name of the student with the lowest score but his initials are my name. That stung a bit. If you're in the USA that's illegal. Huh? Not a day goes by that I don't regret writing you that letter of recommendation. Me. Opened mouth to interject. Huh? Dot. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Proceeds to stare deep into my eyes. Straight through my soul. Me. Turns and walks out of the room. No comeback for that. Bro. Context? Seriously. What transpired before this? I requested a recommendation from my AP psych teacher really early in the year before she got to know me because I wanted it for my college applications. I thought I was gonna major in psychology. She was super nice and gave me a wreck despite barely knowing me. Me. Being the dumbass immature high schooler that I was. Decided to mail it in on her class and just goof off the rest of the year. After all, I got what I wanted from her. After a couple months of this, she pulled me aside and said this to me. It really shook me to my core and made me think about how I was behaving actually. I'm glad she said it in retrospect but man it was a serious gut punch at the time. Not me, but a kid in my class raised his hand and said I know the answer to the last class question. Your hairline. To our ball teacher and everyone started dying of laughter and the teacher responded and I know the answer to that. 
have your attention this is one of many interesting events that have happened in 6th grade. I don't have enemies. A live best 8th grade teacher. I asked my maths teacher for help when I was around 15 years old, and he told me he couldn't help me because he isn't a cosmetic surgeon. I cried for ages and really thought my friends were going to break his skull. Can't break what's already broken sigh. This happened to a friend of mine. In a chem class the teacher was explaining the process by which atoms become ions. He said that metals lose electrons while non-metals gain electrons. He summarized the point and said, non-metals are gainers and metals are losers after a quick scan of the room he turns to my friend and says, I guess you are a metal then. I feel like he drops that line every time he teaches that unit. You don't celebrate Christmas? What? Are you a Jew or something? I was like 9. And Christmas looked fun as shit. Like it was my ducking decision to not make decorations and get presents. LOL. You don't have an industry job? What? You are ducking loser or something? In physics kid holding a light bulb and a tesla coil. I'm god my physics teacher. No you are lamb. I was 6 and my teacher told me I didn't have enough creativity to write. Fiction. And I should just stop. Did you prove them wrong and ended up dedicating a novel to them? I've got 4 completed novels, almost a 5th, and a my belt and if I ever get published, fingers crossed, I'm gonna do that. That's a great idea. I said that I didn't understand a specific exercise we had to solve in maths. When I asked my teacher, he just answered, no big surprise that you're the only one. Who doesn't get that again I won't explain it to you another time. Get yourself a tutor. Okay that's not savage. That's just horrible. I hope someone realized how bad of a teacher he was and got him canned. A high school teacher once told my husband that the world is always going to need ditch diggers. After he graduated he got a job in the oil field in Alaska and started making over 100k a year at 18. He sent a copy of his check stub to that very teacher with a note that said, You were right. And I dig some of the deepest ditches in the world. I use the same line but I usually say that the world needs dishwashers. I think it's from a movie. Maybe some former student of mine is making 100k washing dishes somewhere. If so, great. Better than jail. That if I could write the best paper in the class, then my American classmate she really meant white because I'm also American should be able to do better. This was meant to inspire the white kids at my expense. All my fault but I didn't take theater class serious but I needed the credit so at the end of my senior year I asked what can I do to at least get a D and she helped me out but she said, keep in mind throughout your life people aren't always going to help out. I hope you pass this kindness forward to people you do not seem worthy of your time. Good luck. Biggest truth bomb that stuck with me. Thanks. Ducking like and subscribe.